All right, this is pretty cool. We're going to take two hacker Fs and we're going to communicate uh, between the two, do a little bit of chatting back and forth on two different systems. And this is actually perfect timing because I wanted to show uh, something GNU radio related and also use the hacker F. So perfect timing, this hacker F mini modem I am GUI uh, project that a friend uh, on X uh, shared today uh, is working quite well in Dragon OS. Focal X, uh, I'm sure it's just fine on the Dragon West Pi 64. Uh, so I have what you're looking at now, this desktop of a computer that has one HackerF plugged into it, and then I temporarily have a HackerF, it's actually a porta pack uh, HackerF, plugged into the War Dragon, and we're going to remote desktop it, and we're going to show how to uh, set this up and communicate back and forth with one another between the two software defined radios. Uh, mini modem, I hadn't really used it that much, uh, but it is in Dragon OS general purpose software audio FSK modem. So uh, let's give this a shot. So essentially, we're going to transmit over the air with the protocol that uh, and the baud raid and some other settings that the other hacker F is going to be listening uh, listening to or receiving, and then through pulse audio and and uh, mini modem uh, it's going to listen to those tones and then it's going to decode the message that's sent over and I'm pretty sure I'm describing that uh, fairly well uh, what do we need to do to get this started fairly simple because Dragon OS already has basically everything that's needed I will probably put this in user source user SRC when I uh, add this to Dragon OS or to the War Dragon but for the purpose of the purposes of this video I'm just going to get clone it right into my home directory and the only uh, the only uh, pa uh, the only thing that we need to install is this dear py GUI and I know it's maybe not the best practice to install system wide but for the purpose of this video it should be fine because it it really does not uh, pull any other dependencies, doesn't seem to alter anything. So I had already installed it. You can install it like in a virtual environment like I've shown in the past. You can install it not system-wide, uh, just pip3 install for just the particular user you're logged in with. All right, that pretty much takes care of everything that we need uh, in DragonOS because everything is already, everything else is already there. The other thing you want to do is look at HackerF info. And you want to make sure that you have the firmware version 2023 or probably later that matches the lib hacker F version that's currently in Dragon OS. If you don't have that for some reason, you can look at the SPI Flash application and do a dash W to write. And in the user source firmware hacker F, you will find that I have packaged, uh, so it's hacker F1 usb.bin the file that you will need so I'll just demonstrate flashing how easy it is to flash the hacker F uh, I'll unplug it and uh, just plug it in because it's sitting right here now the other one that has the porta pack I'm not going to flash that right now it's it's perfectly fine I at least wanted to demonstrate flashing one of them uh, we'll also do a chmod mini modem we'll do rx and tx we'll make these all executable and you just do a dot forward slash mini modem dash i am gui and you're going to get something like this so before i transition to the other hacker f i i'd like to do something a little bit different here we'll actually we will go under let's see ham radio and i'll pick sig digger and we need to change so I also have sorry I also have a RTL SDR plugged in here just uncheck this override uh, let's see what else 433 oops 433 we'll just leave it on 433 megahertz Well, it'll just go max here. 2.56, 433. Okay. 
All right, sorry, it took me a second here. I was trying to remember the audio for some reason. Uh, let me just see something here real quick. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure. I have to look into that. I'm not, not sure why I was doing that, but uh, anyways, I had to mess around with the audio a little bit there and so 433 let's turn the volume down a little bit and what's interesting about here is you can actually open up a FSK inspector So let's do this. Let's do Dragon 1 and we're going to talk to Dragon 2. We'll do baud rate 100 and we'll do 400 uh, and 33 megahertz. For, and it's in hertz. 433. And so if we set up to, to receive down a second uh, I just want to show what's going on in here so so we can see there and we're receiving with the RTL SDR and so MIDI modem is listening to the uh, the pulse audio from the sig digger in this case and so we see this is dragon one and the other thing that's interesting is if we had started up this uh, you probably now I'm not going to pretend like I remember everything <laughs> here but uh, anyways what you could do is want to show that you could get in here and if I could remember what the heck I'm actually doing you could do some analysis uh, with uh, sig digger on the signal but let's get back let's get back on track here so let me close out sig digger so we see this is uh, we see this is working and so now if you're, if you're with me this long <laughs> Oh, and I should point out, so a lot of this, if you looked at the RXFM PY, you're going to see it's using GNU Radio behind the scenes. Let's jump over to our other War Dragon in this case. And let's do the same thing. Get clone. You remember the one package that's needed. I've already taken care of that. Let's go into HackRF. Oh, you know what? I guess it doesn't necessarily matter because maybe it's uh, so main. Let's see, main. So we did, okay, yeah, did merge in the, the 3.10 into main. So that's pretty handy. I was going to say uh, you might have had to get clone and check out the 3.10 branch, but it's been about an hour ago merged into main. And so DragonOS Focal X and DragonOS Pi 64 both have a GNU Radio 3.10 based installation. So that's already taken care of for us. So RX, TX, let's do the same thing. So we'll say Dragon 2. Send in 2 Dragon 1. We'll do 100, 433. Say this is Dragon 2. And we'll start it as well and so I'm gonna send from here and then we'll jump back over to where we're listening with the hacker F on the other one okay 
So, let's do this. Let's send here. And we're, I, I just flipped back over to the other one. The other system that's got a different hacker F. interesting and so let's let's do it this way now, I don't have a speaker plugged into the uh, war dragon right now but we can see it's receiving from dragon 1 to dragon 2 perfect so there you go that was uh pretty uh, straightforward but I like how it uses multiple different uh, programs and especially you know has the GUI there that makes it fairly simple for anyone to jump in and use so I'd keep an eye on this project uh, maybe it will add more to it in the future and um, hopefully that helps all right have a good one